Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to be talking about finding derivatives using the chain rule. We need to use the chain rule anytime we take a derivative of a composition of functions. So if we have a function that we're going to call h of x, and it consists of the composition of functions f of g of x, then the derivative of h of x, h prime of x, is equal to f prime of g of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x. So it may make more sense when I go into a couple of examples. Alright, so let's start off with a fairly simple example. We're going to try and take the derivative of the function x squared plus 2x plus 3 all squared. So in order to take the derivative, we're going to treat that inside part, x squared plus 2x plus 3, as the same way we would treat it if it was just x. So we're going to take the derivative of the entire thing. So we're going to take that exponent down as a constant 2, then we're going to leave the middle as is, and we're going to make it to the exponent 1, which we can just leave out. And now we're going to multiply it by the derivative of that whole inside part. So as before, uh, that inside part would be g of x, and the entire expression would be f of x before um, in our function h of x that I explained at the start. So now I'm just going to go through and simplify this whole expression uh, just to prove a further point. So, yeah, you can just watch me carry out these steps. Okay, so now as you can see, we get down to our final answer, which is 4x cubed plus 12x squared plus 20x plus 12. Now in order to prove to you guys that the chain rule really works, I'm going to take the derivative of that function with no prior knowledge of the chain rule. So we're going to take that same function, f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3, all squared, and I'm just going to expand these terms out. So after simplifying this, we get down to the expression x to the exponent 4 plus 4x cubed plus 10x squared plus 12x plus 9. So now we're going to take the derivative of this function, which you should be able to do. So we're going to take the derivative of the first term, which is 4x cubed, plus the derivative of the second term, which is 12x squared, plus the derivative of the third term, which is 20x, plus the last term, which is 12. When we take the derivative of a 9, we know that that's 0, just because it's a constant. And so, now if you compare this answer with the answer we got from the chain rule, you'll see that they are in fact the same. So now in my second example, we're going to take the derivative of the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3 to the exponent 50. So we can see that the inside of this function is the same as the previous one, but it's the exponent 50. So it would take a long, long time to expand all those terms. But using the chain rule, we can do this very quickly. So we take down the exponent 50, we leave the inside the same, and then we just subtract one from the exponent to give us 49. And now we just take the derivative of the inside, which is 2x plus 2. And we're done, that's it. If we had expanded those terms, this would have taken a very long time. So now I'm just going to go through a couple more practice questions. I recommend you try these on your own first, and then look at my answers. So the first one we're going to go through is f of x is equal to the square root of x to the exponent 5 plus 4x cubed. So we can make this a little easier on ourselves by rewriting the function as x to the exponent 5 plus 4x to the exponent 3, all to the exponent 1 half. So now in order to take the derivative of this, we just do what we did before. We take the exponent down in front, which is a half. We leave the inside the same, so x to the exponent 5 plus 4x cubed. And now we subtract 1 from the exponent, so negative a half. Now we multiply all this by the derivative of the inside. So 5x to the exponent 4 plus 12x squared. And that's it, that's the derivative.
Alright, so I'll go through one more example with you guys. So the function we're going to be taking the derivative of is f of x is equal to the cubed root of x cubed plus 2x. So once again, like the previous example, we're going to write this in a way that's a bit easier. So we're going to write x cubed plus 2x to the exponent 1 third. And from here, we just do the same thing. So the derivative is 1 third, so we're going to take that exponent down. Now we're going to multiply it by x cubed plus 2x, so the inside stays the same. Now we're going to subtract 1 from the exponent, so the exponent becomes negative 2 thirds. And now as the final step, we just multiply all that by the derivative of the inside, so 3x squared plus 2. And there we go. That's the derivative. I hope this video was helpful. If you still have questions, make sure to check out some of my other calculus videos, and if you're still stuck, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you.